Recently, a popular internet pornography platform blocked access to its content in Utah in protest of a state law that requires websites to verify age with government-issued ID. Any attempts to bypass this law and censorship have shown to be in vain. Cultural Currents Institute analyzed the data from Google searches, and it showed that Utah citizens have been heavily searching for virtual private networks, or VPNs, to bypass this sudden problem. Governor Gary Herbert of Utah signed a resolution in 2016 which declared that the spread of porn put children's lives at risk and needed protection. This newest law is an enactment of this and other bills introduced in several other states. The current governor of Utah, Spencer Cox, has supported the new law because it will hold companies accountable for the knowingly distributing pornography to minors. The ACLU of Utah has criticized the new law saying it is unconstitutional and passed under the guise of protecting minors. The law is also supported by other bills passed in the state which ask for age verifying for children on social media sites. It would require adults to verify their ages and expose their identities before taking part in certain websites. Pornhub reformatted the blockage of its content in Utah by directing its users to a video message from adult film actor Sherry DeVille. She argued that the state should use device-based verification, a process that would verify whether the adult computer or device is the one being used. DeVille has also discussed how this law could lead to people visiting sites with less safeguards and put them at risk of privacy and security issues. It is scary to think that important and hard-won privacy rights could be taken away at any moment. It is important that people stand together to protect the free use of the internet in our country. Understand that you have the right to safely use the internet with reasonable verification practices, and do your part by supporting laws that will support this. Reach out to your elected representatives in the hopes that we can maintain an open and accessible internet for all.